Hello everyone and welcome back to my colonization series in Kerbal Space Program 0.25. In this episode we've got a lot of business to attend to including landing two modules on the moon and connecting them up to the base, the aeroponics module and the power plant module. The power plant module is already connected to the pumpkin so it's ready to go and to be brought back down to the base. But uh, first I wanted to check out the moon master and I want to test it out a little bit. As somebody pointed out that I was still controlling from the docking port so I'm gonna say control from here and maybe this will make the handling a little bit better finally. Uh, I might have to re-invert the wheels. Now the Moonmaster does have lights so hopefully electric charge looks fine. Okay so let me see if this works a little bit better. Maybe that's that was the problem. Uh, hold on let me... okay uh, Turn around. That seems to be going right. That seems to be going left, which is the opposite of what I'm doing. Okay, uh, so let me re invert the wheels. There should be an invert steering and uninvert steering, I, I think. I mean, that would be a little bit better. But anyway take off brakes, wait a little bit, and I think our target is still the hem helmet miner, yeah. So let's turn around and let's head a little bit closer to the base. Yeah, yeah, this is much better. Let's see if we can get going in a good clip, and then I want to test uh, its carbonite mining capability and its ability to refuel itself. Sort of an important function of it. Wonder how it looks from uh, Mike's point of view. Uh, pretty dark. Not exactly the best point of view to take. I'm sure this thing can go faster. I'm just being a little bit cautious. Okay, so Mike is now in the base area. So trying to get brakes to keep us steady here. Now let's see, carbonite drill. Always nice to have it pointed the right way. It's poking into the ground, right? Uh, tough to see. Let's see, extract carbonite? Yeah, it's extracting carbonite. Good, and Let's say we wanted to use that for fuel, Acti activate liquid fuel and oxidizer. Um, well, it's prioritizing liquid fuel right now, but liquid fuel is definitely refueling very slowly, though. Let's activate the other drill. Track carbonite. Okay, now it's uh, refueling the liquid fuel at double that rate. And just to make sure, let's uh, have a portable carbonite generator. Yeah, okay, so now it's taking a little bit of the stuff that would have gone for the liquid fuel and sending it to the generator for electric charge. Looks like it can fully charge pretty darn quickly. Just 24 seconds until it's fully charged on this one generator. That's alright, I don't need to have the generator on. We've got uh, plenty of electric charge here. Well, I guess I should just go with uh, LFO Mix. It says uh, that as a separate option. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Alright, well this thing can fuel up and uh, in that case it'll probably have around 800 meters per second of delta V which is enough to get back to orbit if necessary but uh, obviously the most important thing is for it to do short hops and also to have mass so that it can have downforce when pulling stuff around. Alright, well anyway Mike seems to be well situated here. Um, yep, I guess I'll uh, leave that be and we will turn back to the modules that we have to land. So I've time warped through the lunar night and now our base is in daylight. Uh, of course the, the walls of the crater might be shading it a little bit but I think it'll be alright. Of course the base has its own lighting 
and we're in a bit of a high orbit but that's not a problem I'm going to we're right now here and so I'm just going to separate and retro burn we are still attached to the transfer stage and we don't need that anymore let's make sure we're all fueled up indeed we are and so it should be safe to decouple here unfortunately we're gonna be leaving behind a little bit of fuel not much oh well a little bit there too that's a little bit unfortunate but there it is off it goes and I'm gonna deploy these as our landing struts okay so I want to go retrograde and make sure from the way it looks that we are controlling from the right part and indeed it looks that way doesn't look like we got to smash into the transfer stage so everything's a go let's uh, retro burn a bit and then we can proceed okay then right around here I'm going to tilt my orbit to hit our target that looks fine and probably a little bit more retrograde at that point I think there's a pretty heavy load for the pumpkin forget the mass of this but I think the reactor the power plant is one of the heavier modules so it's gonna be close to capacity and this is probably the most harrowing one because we've got Samden Kerman on board and it's so heavy uh, it's gonna be a tough episode altogether for me in terms of getting all this stuff down it's, uh, th I mean of course launching and getting into orbit and transferring the stuff is relatively easy compared to landing especially landing with uh, with the pumpkin and all well let's get the pumpkin lights on okay that burn doesn't have to be precise actually because it's just uh, bringing our orbit high here it's an inclination change let's go flat retrograde right all situated let's target something pretty much anything at the base will do rover alpha I don't know about rover alpha there we go my usual helmet miner uh, why have you suddenly gone to zero frame rates game oh game okay the game is telling me it wants me to restart and I think this is probably a good idea okay looks like we're back and we have some actual frame rates to work with that's good it wasn't a systematic problem it was just a temporary issue okay so uh, we are still on the same trajectory still have the helmet miner targeted we seem to be a little bit too far north so I'm going to correct that right now Now I want to get as close to the base as possible obviously uh, if it's possible I would like to land it right next to the existing modules and not have to move it around at all we could just connect it up directly without using the tug to move it that would be the ideal situation we could just uh, get the tubes together and that'll be that but that's not guaranteed at all a bit of a rotation going on but I'll let that happen I could turn on RCS to stop it but I don't think it's necessary to do so gotta turn off the pumpkin's own lights so that the base lights take precedence once we get into rendering range which we're hitting right now 
Uh, yep, I see the base lights now. Good. Still tough to see when we're exactly over the base. I think we're getting there. Just a reminder, this is a nuclear reactor we're talking about here. We've got enriched uranium on board. So, yeah, maybe landing a little bit further away might be a good idea. I mean, we're obviously very close to just above the base, but where exactly are we going to land? Are we going to land on top of the lighting tower? Are we going to land on top of some module or the moon master? Or a nice free spot? Seems like I've been looking at the camera the wrong way. We might be too far away. Huh. Bad camera angle. Of course, this could be a bad camera angle. How would I know? Now, if at some point you figured out that the pumpkin has quite a lot of delta V on it, well, this is why. Because I was planning to do ridiculous stuff like this. There's a lot of physics lag here. No surprise. I mean, of course, I've got a lot of stuff here now. This would be going a lot faster if I was... If I didn't have all the physics lag. Well, you're getting an interesting look at the base here. Seems a bit far off still. But I'm getting tired here and I need to get the other module down as well, so I'm just gonna set it down now. There's a slope, darn it, that's why I'm getting messed up here. Okay, and... Oh, no, no, it didn't undock. Is it undock? Alright. All right, off we go. Great. No worries, the pumpkin is on its way back to orbit to meet up with... Where are you? The other module, where are you? Okay. Not in a great place to fix inclination right now. Leaving the power plant behind. Hopefully all will be well there. Okay, here's our inclination change to match with the aeroponics lab. Okay, let's take a look at how the power plant got situated on the ground there. Okay, it's pretty far off. I mean, not as not as bad as it could have been, but still pretty far off. So I want to bring it in closer. But this side is the side that people enter and exit out of. Maybe I want to get on the other side. Ah, that's even trickier. Actually, uh, only port it. Well, yeah, I guess we could. We we should put it over here somewhere. Hmm. Okay. Well, that means we have some tugging to do. 
Up. We got too much stuff around. Got this, got this, got this. Wait a minute. John Gas and Mike Kerman. Do we have two Mike Kermans? I thought Mike Kerman was in the... Oh. Uh-oh. Why is Mike Kerman showing up here? Mike Kerman is showing up everywhere. Yeah, Mike Kerman is showing... That is a problem. Even for debris. I gotta clear up this debris. It's bound to cause problems. But it looks like there's something weird about that command pod. Okay, here's the tug. Uh, the other way. <laughs> I don't think this tug is very good. Okay, uh, let's do the whole docking mode T. How goes it, Tug? No, you shouldn't be locked up. Let's just check. Maybe I should... Yep, yeah, maybe I should control from here. Uh -huh. Uh No, nope, it doesn't seem to be working very much. Okay, I'm officially tired of this tug. How about um can I give Okay, well Oh maybe it was just a docking port magnetism? No. It's not really letting me use the motor of the of the wheels. The wheels aren't spinning. I mean, uh they're I mean even if they weren't touching the ground they should be spinning, right? says disable motor there so they're theoretically enabled well RCS can move this thing but the wheels aren't moving it at all uh oh uh oh whoa <laughs> okay so that's definitely not a good idea All right, I give up. It looks like I'm gonna have to use the Moon Master after all. Oh, uh, that's something I forgot to disengage. <laughs> uh, stop kind of retract drill. Seems like we're on a very slippery surface on this particular part of the moon, even more so than in other locations. Okay, that should be close enough. Now let's get all attached. Uh, Mike, this is your part. No, no, that's not what I meant to do. Mike, EVA. Yep, pop off please. Space, let go. So that's where you come in and out of, huh? Okay, well, we'll have to remember that to get you back in. Gotta put brakes on, I'm gonna put gear down. Ooh, had a little nasty bump in that docking port there. Okay, that's good. Sand and Kerman could have probably helped out here. So first we're gonna take one of these. Yep. This radial thing. Crab. Looks like dead center in the middle of that docking port would be fine. 
Okay. I don't know what that's all about, but fine. Alright, get back into your Moon Master. Okay. Alright, now breaks off. Let's, uh. Retract a bit. Okay, that's a little bit tighter. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, control seems to be reversed. Great. Uh, where am I controlling from? I guess is the question. Uh, I think I need to invert steering on these back wheels here. It's thinking that they should go the same direction because they're so far forward now that we're docked up. Okay, uh, let me try staging. Whoa, whoa, that might be bad, but at least I'm turning. Yeah, now I can turn. The way this reactor thing bounces about worries the heck out of me. Hopefully those little landing struts will help stabilize it. That doesn't look like the Moon Master itself is jostling around much. It's just the reactor. Of course the reactor is sort of the... Well, I think of it as more of the more volatile than the Moon Master, but probably the Moon Master itself is has more bits that could explode. Okay, that's good enough. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, too close to that thing. Maybe a little bit more to the right. Okay, maybe that can connect up fine. We'll see. Um, yeah, first let's have uh, Mike unhook everything. I'm sure I could have controlled the winch without Mike out here, but let's see. Okay, this is confusing. locked with a part. Okay, well, that'll solve the problem. Let's attach it back to the vehicle here. That's fine. Okay, link. Alright, so that's linked up. We got our reactor linked up. Let's get Mike back into his Moon Master and move him out of the way. Move the Moon Master out of the way, I mean. Where are you, Mike? Come on. Board. Okay, fine. Okay, close. Alright. Alright. The Moon Master is free from its load. Let's turn it away from the base for a sec. For the time being. Yep, in the glow of the gold bug. Which it is here to replace, in fact. Okay, parking brakes. Now let's go back to the base. Not the helmet miner. Mike is everywhere. I don't know about this whole thing. Okay, the base, right. Now here, as as recommended by many people, I'm going to finally deploy these things. 
and retract the landing gear. Okay, hopefully that will put our base in more solid foundation. It's all linked up, it's got all sorts of stuff. I haven't started the reactor yet, right? I guess that's the PDU, Power Distribution Unit. Yeah, I haven't started yet because we don't need it yet. We need to bring down the aeroponics unit. Okay, I'm going to take a brief break and then come back and try and do that. Alright, so here we are with the pumpkin. I don't think I have enough time to actually bring the aeroponics lab down, but I can connect the pumpkin to it, so let's do that rendezvous quickly. And then in the next episode I'll have to get the aeroponics lab connected up. I spent too much time messing around with the tug and trying to figure out how to maneuver the, the moon master once I decided that the tug was impossible. So that uh, killed the time frame that I was planning on. Anyway, so, yep, let me, we're in too close in orbit here. I need to boost to a higher orbit to make sure that we can rendezvous properly. All right, uh, prograde vector. Okay, we have a intersect at 0.5 kilometers. That is okay. That is okay. Let's go for that rendezvous. Approaching quite quickly because, well, by my standards, quite quickly because I don't have too much time left to mess about. Okay, all docked up, and we definitely need the fuel to be transferred now. In fact, we'll even need the reserve uh, leftover fuel from this thing, I think, to really top off the pumpkin. So yeah, I'll start the next episode by bringing this down and hooking it up to the the base and we'll see what we can do now with the aeroponics lab. Maybe we can generate some food and we'll see whether that actually works or whether I'm missing something. I don't know, maybe machinery needs to be a thing. I haven't looked into the details yet. Eventually we're gonna hook everything up but uh, yeah, need to experiment a bit. Alright, so the pumpkin is all refueled and ready to go for delivering this to the surface and uh, with that I think I will leave you and uh, so thank you for watching if you enjoyed this episode please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time